Ang pinaka-consistent sa lahat ng mga travel requirements ay ang requirement na nagpo-prove sa iyong identity. And that is your valid ID. Marami rin ang nagtatanong sa channel na ito kung ano-ano bang mga valid IDs ang dapat i-provide during inspection or check-in every time you travel. And not only that, even if you don't travel, you need an ID for almost any transaction that you do in your daily life. This video will present the 10 valid IDs na dapat meron ka as a Filipino citizen living in the Philippines. So if you want to know the details, please stay tuned and please watch the whole video. Hello guys, welcome to Denzi TV. This is a public service channel providing you with important updates and information related to current events and domestic travel requirements. Please subscribe to this channel if you need such information and don't forget to hit the notification bell and select all so you can receive all the updates as they come and you won't miss anything. Unahin natin ang isa sa pinaka-importanteng ID sa Pilipinas and that is the Philippine Passport. Valid for 10 years and you can get it of course from the Department of Foreign Affairs or DFA and you will pay, you have two options. You can either opt for the 12 business days processing which will incur you 950 pesos or if you're in a hurry, you can choose to pay 1,200 pesos for a six business day processing. Second on the list is our driver's license. Valid for five years. And you can get it only from the Land Transportation Office or LTO. And you have to pay from 320 to 820 pesos. Third on the list is the UMID from SSS. This is a unified multi-purpose ID that serves as a GSIS ID, PhilHealth ID, and Pag-ibig ID, all in one. Valid for a lifetime. So once you get the ID, forever na yan sa'yo. Where to get it? Of course, from the social security system. And it will cost you nothing. This ID is for free. Number four on the list is the PhilHealth ID. This is a fully laminated insurance card and not the cardboard regular ID. So there are two versions of the PhilHealth ID. Yung isa, cardboard or parang papel lang. And the other one is the fully laminated insurance card. So ang tinutukoy po ng valid ID na ito, number four sa list, ay yung fully laminated na insurance card. Valid for a lifetime and galing po, sa, of course, sa PhilHealth. And it will cost you 90 pesos to get the laminated version. And ano bang itsura ng laminated? Ito po ang itsura ng laminated uh, ID ng PhilHealth. At ito po dapat ang inyong i-obtain to be considered as a valid ID for all agencies and business transactions nationwide. Number five on the list is the TIN ID. Para po ito sa mga taxpayers. So this is the tax identification number ID. Valid for a lifetime and makukuha lang po sa Bureau of Internal Revenue. At ito po ay libre. Number six is the postal ID used to verify a person's identity and address. Valid for a lifetime. You get it from the postal office. And it is for free. So as you may have noticed, halos lahat no, ng mga valid IDs na discuss natin uh, ay mga libre. Wala pong bayad. So wala pong rason or excuse para ang isang individual ay magsasabi na wala akong ID. Or I can't afford to get an ID because most of these IDs here can be obtained for free. Ito po ang itsura ng postal ID. Next on the list is the voter's ID. 
granted only to registered voters, valid for an indefinite period, galing sa Commission on Elections or COMELEC, and ito po ay libre. So, bakit po ang nakalagay ay hindi lifetime, kundi indefinite? Kasi hindi po lifetime ang validity ng voter's ID depending on the holder of that ID. So, may condition po ang COMELEC na kung kunyari, you missed voting for two consecutive elections, okay, then your name might be removed from the official list and the voter's ID might no longer be valid at that point. So, all you have to do is uh, you have to reapply, okay, for the next uh, registration period so that you can be issued again another voter's identification. So, that's why hindi po lifetime ang validity, kundi indefinite lang. Depende pa rin doon sa taong may hawak no ID na yon kung nakaboto siya consistently during elections. Sa mga hindi pa nakakita ng voter's ID, ito po ang itsura niya for your reference. Number eight on the list is the PRC ID. The ID that is granted only to licensed professionals or those professionals who pass the board exams. Valid for five years. Galing po sa Professional Regulation Commission or PRC. And ito po ay nakakahalaga ng 300 to 600 pesos depending on the profession. Number nine is the Senior Citizen ID. Of course, para po ito sa ating mga senior citizens. Valid for a lifetime. Galing po sa municipal office. And ito po ay libre. And the last but not the least, number 10 on the list is the OFW ID or Overseas Filipino Worker ID. Valid for two years. Galing po sa OWA. And it's for free. So para po ito sa ating mga kababayang OFW. Kung wala ka namang primary ID, then these IDs can also be considered secondary. Okay, and these are the following. NBA clearance, police clearance, barangay clearance, birth certificate, marriage certificate, cedula, and GSIS ID. Okay, so kung kunyari wala kayong primary ID, then maybe you can present one or two or three of these secondary IDs to compensate for the missing primary ID. Or kung kunyari, dalawang IDs na primary ang kailangan, pero isa lang meron ka, so you need another set of two, at least two secondary IDs to compensate for the missing primary ID. So, I think ito ang gamit ng secondary IDs. Okay? Pero kung meron ka namang primary IDs na marami, then you might no longer need to have secondary IDs kasi yung primary IDs naman talaga, yung, ano, yung uh, talagang kailangan, no? Main requirement yun for your transactions. Pero ito naman, para lang to kung sakali wala ka or kulang ka ng primary IDs. At yan po ang mga 10 valid IDs na dapat meron ka as a Filipino citizen living here in the Philippines. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. This has been Densi TV at your service. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will receive all the updates as they come. Thank you so much, Paul, and have a nice day.